a couple of questions here for the week. All right, Military Virgin. Uh, dear Bill of the Buor, B-U-O-R-E. I don't even know what that means. I listen to your podcast all the time. I also, from time to time, uh, appreciate your stand-up comedy. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice backhanded compliment. I listen to your podcast all the time and also from time to time appreciate your stand-up comedy. You know, it's all right. From time to time, he makes me smile. I am from New Hampshire, and your video tour of Hampton Beach was right on the money. I am writing to you about my best bud in the military. We are both in the service. As we became friends, he confessed, he confessed that he's a virgin at the age of 32. Over the past two years since I've known the guy, he prefers to play video games and eat Dunkaroos than going out in public. Dunkaroos, what the fuck are those? Um, he's an exceptionally funny kid and has no problem making good impression on strangers or even a lady. He just cannot reach women in a sexual way. Right now, he's stationed in Europe, in good shape, has a badass job, speaks French, and is generally a charismatic guy. He has every reason to be down, drowning in ladies and can even use the foreign card. But as I check in with him, he still hasn't gotten out from behind the 60-inch plasma TV. I don't know what his problem is because he would always be bitching about wanting a girlfriend. I think he may be whacking it too much, uh, the new ep epidemic. And another tidbit is that he will turn to heavy drinking, which actually helps to open him up. I can tell he's not satisfied being sig single and using alcohol, but will not take the initiative to break the cycle. I'm pissed because he's not using the golden opportunity to slay over there, and he's just disrespecting, and it's just disrespectful to the rest of us. That's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, man, he seems like, I would say that he should probably go to therapy and work out whatever his, his hang up is because, um, that could be a lot of shit that he's, uh, sitting on. And, um, yeah, it's, that's sad. I feel bad for that guy. You know what I mean? It'd be one thing, like some people are just naturally like loners and asexual or whatever, and they don't want to be out there, but whatever his deal is, you know, be a sad thing. If somebody wanted to find love and they couldn't find love, that guy should be crushing it. If he can speak French and he can speak English, like that, that France, that's your whole fucking world over there. Even if you went to England and they don't give a fuck that you can speak English because so do they. But if you go so bust out some French, bam, you're crushing that. Yes. And he's a man in uniform. Dude, this guy, he's like fucking like three different porno fantasies for women. Um, he's got it. What, what is he going to do next? Start cleaning pools, <laughs> delivering pizzas. Yeah, there's no reason for it. I would tell your buddy that he, sh he should go talk to somebody um, about it. But it's kind of difficult if he's drowning himself in booze, and uh, it's a delicate thing, and it's very difficult to get somebody to go get help. I mean, they have to want to do it themselves. So, um, But you're a good friend, man, because you, you actually give a shit. All right, conspiracy theory. Sorry I'm rushing through this. I'm coming up on an hour, and these fucking gas line people are going to be showing up soon. Conspiracy theory.